Out of Intera, we love you guys so much. Thanks for stopping by today and uh, spending a few minutes together. I know several years back, Tara, your family went through really an unthinkable tragedy. Could you just tell us a little bit about the Operation 300 story? About seven years ago now, um, my older brother, Aaron, he was killed in action um, while serving, and it was devastating for our family. It was a really hard loss. We have been able to take the pain of that loss and create Operation 300 and what we do at Operation 300 is we care for families uh, like my brothers, um, children who have lost their dad serving in our military, pair them up um, with a guy who would have been about their dad's age and they get to do things they would have done with their dad like fishing and sailing and hunting. When our church decided to take up this dollar club offering, we came to you and uh, said, uh, Tara and Adam, do you have a, a mom and child that we can come alongside and care for? And you had somebody in mind. Yeah, um, I immediately thought of Rosanna Powers. Within a year, she gave birth to her first child, lost her brother, and lost her fiance. She's the kind of person that I just wanna say, hey, this is for you. We wanna do something great for you, so. So August of 2004, I was just getting out of the Marines, so I was in the Marines myself. And then we got the call about my brother. He was killed. You know, our family was just dealing with that. Not even a few hours later, the phone rang and it was like my mother-in-law's phone number. That was them calling that my fiance was killed within the same 24 hours that my brother had been killed. For the next few months, I'm not really sure exactly what happened. I just know that I was like on some airplanes and I was at some funerals and I, people put food in my mouth and told me when to eat and, you know, it's all a blur. The worst part is how good of a dad his dad was going to be and he was so excited to be a dad. I don't want to cry over that. <laughs> what do you guys do on Memorial Day to honor your brother and your fiance? Probably the past like five or six years, we've decided that I'm not going to Memorial Day like events anymore. Because every time we would go to these Memorial Day speeches or something, there'd be somebody there not talking about Memorial Day. They'll be talking about Veterans Day. Or for us, for Gold Star family members, Memorial Day is every day. So then every year we just started going different places, seeing new things around the country that we haven't seen before, and just experiencing life and enjoying the country that we live in. I love that. Do you guys have a trip planned this year? Not really. We had a trip planned, but that something fell apart. Your church family, Christ Fellowship, took a very special offering, and they heard about your story. And I know you guys moved here recently. One of those things is um, just to help make your house a home. And so they have purchased some furnishings and some decorations and... Um, <laughs> That's really sweet. You have this beautiful patio out here that they're just gonna make a beautiful oasis for you. Um, Are so you that you can me? Not kidding, relax oh at gosh. the end of the day. Um, so cute. And then the second thing is, part of that offering is going towards your Memorial Day trip. So you guys oh. pick where you wanna go and uh, they're gonna cover the cost oh of that. Oh my gosh. So this is like a travel bag for you guys to go. So. Oh my gosh, baby. How do you know what Brody likes? He eats all this. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting like everything to be new. This is so nice. Someone made this for me. It's like my favorite thing ever. And then to put that on there, that's crazy. This looks really nice. I can't believe this is like my house that I'm gonna live in now. Yeah. <laughs> now it looks comfortable. It's not like a hard plastic chair. Thank you so much, Christ Fellowship and Operation 300. I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me and my son. And thank you so much. Tara and Adam, 
That's amazing. Thank you so much for allowing us as a church family to be a part of investing in Rosie and Brody. We hear that you have a, another camp coming up in May, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. We decided that we want to do something to bless you. So we as a church <laughs> are going to completely underwrite the cost of no. the yes. May <laughs> oh camp. My God. For all the kids and families that you are bringing in and loving on, let us get in on that. Oh we bless gosh. you guys. Come Care on, for even more people. <laughs> in Jesus' name. We love you oh, so much. much.